Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my Mega Park. Now, in the last episode, uh, I made this uh, bobsleigh coaster. I'm really happy with the way this looks. Uh, I love how this area over here is coming together. But in this episode, I want to do something uh, completely different. So, we have this big lake here, and I've been thinking uh, what I want to do with it. And I think I actually want to build an island in the middle. I think it will be cool to have some sort of a secret base theme. Uh, something, some mechanical uh, or lab buildings hidden uh, in the in the jungle of sorts. Uh, it will have some boats uh, which uh, allow guests to travel to and from the island, and of course to uh, to not confuse the guests' pathfinding. I will also make some hidden underground paths towards the island. Now, um, like I said, I want to have the island and on top of it I want to have a big uh, dueling flying coaster because uh, well yeah we have this big park and the only dueling coaster we have so far is this powered one um, which really doesn't have much uh, interaction it just looks nice so yeah I want to have a dueling flying coaster with lots of interaction now um, this will be very difficult to create uh, I have done uh, dueling flying coasters uh, before in the dueling coaster contest, so I know it's going to be difficult. You will probably see me uh, going back and forth a bit, doing lots of uh, testing, simulation, uh, just to get these rides to uh, have their timing uh, cor correctly, because I want them to have uh, some near misses and stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I hope this uh, this works out well. Um, like I said, it's very difficult. So uh, let's get right to it. Now, normally you cannot build uh, quarter loops with a flying coaster. The amount of elements you can uh, build with them is quite limited. But what you could see me do here was uh, I changed the coaster track to multi-dimension coaster. And that in turn allowed me to build a quarter loop here. Um, and that uh, allowed me to make uh, this uh, interlocking uh, pretzel loop. So yeah, it's, it's a bit tricky to perform, but uh, it does extend the amount of elements you can place with the flying roller coaster. 
Now of course this coaster doesn't have this vertical part or the quarter loop. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I copied a piece of steel twisted track and I will build that here in reverse um, just to avoid any uh, accidental merging and that will allow me to uh, reconstruct these elements and make it look like they're part of the original track. Alright, that takes care of the interlocking pretzel loops, so now all I gotta do is just extend the track. Um, I think I'll just make it go around here once more. Um, I can probably go under here uh, and then try to find a way back to the station somehow. But yeah, so far I'm happy with how the track uh, goes. Uh, so yeah, you can see here at the first drop they have these uh, spirals which go uh, where they meet each other. I really love this part. So here's a bit of a twisty section where they pass under and over each other several times. And here then is the interlocking uh, pretzel loops. Well, this is probably as good as I can get the timing for now in a short period. But uh, I must say, I'm, uh, I'm happy with this. All right, time to uh, carry on. Okay, that's the layout of the flying coasters done. Um, so yeah, I didn't manage to fit in more inversions into the track, sadly. Um, but I did get some nice uh, interaction uh, into the track. For example, uh, already here at the first drop, they have these intertwining uh, spirals. Um, here are some, uh, some inversions in the track where they pass over uh, one another. Uh, here's the interlocking pretzel loops. Uh, I'll probably make the bottom part uh, underground. And here again, there's another spiral where they pass by uh, one another. So yeah, um, normally these coasters will probably have a few more inversions, but uh, I think I did well with the space uh, that I had. 
All right, uh, I will now start uh, decorating the island. Uh, I won't finish it in this episode. Um, this will be a bit uh, bigger project, but I do hope to finish it in the, in the next episode. So yeah, for now I will just do some rough landscaping on the island and uh, yeah, that will be uh, it, it for now. Okay, I've now made the exits and the entrance for the coasters, including the keel path. Um, I want to make some paths around the island. Um, in the end, I want some transport rides to transport guests to and from this uh, this island. But um, guests get confused um, if a part of the park where they want to go is not actually reachable by path. So that's why I'll, I will make some underground paths uh, towards this island. I think I will make one uh, right over here, one over here near the water park. Probably just one in every direction, just so it's easy to find for, uh, for guests. Alright, I now did uh, some landscaping on the island, uh, I made some underground paths so guests uh, are able to find the island uh, 
As you can see, it's pretty crowded here. So a lot of guests are eager to get off the island using the transport boats that I just built. Uh, I don't blame them. The island is uh, very crowded. There's not much to do here except these coasters. Uh, but yeah, I think this island will be uh, will become really cool in the next episode. Uh, I want to add another ride here on the island. I'm not sure what kind of ride yet, but uh, I'll think of something cool to add. And of course, the coaster still needs a station building, and the island uh, needs some uh, buildings as well. So yeah, as I said before, I want to make it sort of look like a secret base of sorts. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's what it will become. All right, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, for the rest of the episode, uh, we will just follow uh, both trains as they go through a circuit of this coaster. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. Oh yeah, before I start these rides, um, of course they're now called Flying Roller Coaster 1 and Flying Roller Coaster 2. Uh, they still need a nice name, so if you can think of anything that's catchy, uh, preferably something that fits the theme, uh, that would be great. Alright, uh, I will now start the coasters and I'll see you again in the next episode.